Alexios, welcome to the newest of the Marcos estates. I wasn't expecting company, but one must always be prepared. Wine? Marcos, I can't believe you're here. Believe it, my friend. I'm not a man of one city, but of all cities. Who am I to deny the rest of the Greek world what I have to offer? You made it a long way from home. I could say the same to you. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. I found my mother. What a coincidence! I found my mama too! Here, in Kos. Since Kos is her home, Kos is my home too! Say hello, mama! Your mama? You told me your mother was dead. Right, this is my adopted mama. We've become so close, she wouldn't have it any other way. Come on, Marcos. The truth. <laughs> Well, Mama is the owner of the vineyard. When her husband met his untimely death, it was going to be auctioned off. Something had to be done. So you stepped in to help. How generous. It's ridiculous a wonderful lady such as Mama cannot inherit her own property. Now we run the vineyard together. Isn't that right, Mama? She'd put up a fuss if she disagreed. It's her land, but she shares it with her precious son, me! It's a nice place you've commandeered, Marcos. <laughs> if I didn't know you so well, I'd think you were serious. I'm always laughing these days. You weren't laughing much when you were tied up in that fort. Eh, uh, about that. I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Why am I not surprised? But it's something I know you could help me with, my friend. I know your credentials. Go on. You know me. I borrow some drachmi, and before I know it, they're calling me the Khan of Kos. All thanks to the Cerberus, whom I owe the most. The Cerberus? Oh, first the Cyclops, now this. Don't tell me it's a three-headed dog. Don't be ridiculous. This is nothing like the Cyclops. This time I wish to make a peace offering, with nothing less than my finest wine. Finest? Palatable, maybe. Alexios, you're like family to me. And since I'm family to you, I'm sure you wouldn't mind helping. Oh, you're sure, are you? I promise I can afford to pay you this time. Just take my wine to the Cerberus. Simple. Fine. For old time's sake. I can always count on you, and the Cerberus can count on a nice wine pairing with dinner. Take it to his house. The Cerberus better not bite me. Are you the Cerberus? Who wants to know? Who? Only one head. A gift for you. Have you ever had Marcus's wine? It's the best of the best. What's so good about it? It's very sweet. Perfect with chestnut bread. He's not gonna win me over with wine. I never forget whose purse my drachmi goes into. It's a peace offering. A thank you for waiting so patiently for him to pay you back. Hmm. Then drink with me, if you think it's so good. All right. <coughs> it's poisoned! No, no, that's just the wine. You tricked me. I'm going to be sick. Guards! Guards! Uh. 
Someone over there? You're done for! Cerberus wants to order another amphora's worth. The wine made us sick, Marcos. Impossible. It was my best batch. I double-checked. If you wanted him dead, you should have told me. I did tell you. I'm a new Marcos. I don't want people dead. I want what's right. But that isn't good news. No, it's not good. The Cerberus will come after you. What to do? What to do? What am I saying? Alexios, this is when we strike. Strike? You and what army? I have a demigod for a best friend! That's an army as strong as 20 soldiers! You have it all figured out, don't you? There's only three of them, plus their little group of men. It will be easy, my friend. Three? Why do you think they're called the Cerberus? Because they're three brothers, triplets, each with as much bite as the last. Great. So there are two others that will want revenge. Wait a minute, wait a minute! That means two of them haven't tried my wine! So what are you going to do? They need to be spooked. As Mama says, a threat is like a bear. Very scary. We'll burn the Cerberus's farm, specifically the silos. That's not a good idea. When have you had reason not to trust me? Don't answer that, my friend. Just trust me. It better work. Though I'm skeptical. It's even worth sacrificing them as potential customers. Do you want the crops burned too? They grow herbs, harmless plants for medicine. It's just the silos that should go. Blow them up! You couldn't have mentioned there were three of them before? I thought it was implied. Having triplets runs in their family. That's a lot of Cerberuses. Let's hope they don't procreate and have Cerberus puppies. I'll pay their farm a visit. Give them a good scare. I'm pretty sure it's the farm at Astipalia City. Their goons are always hanging around. Got it. 